caterpillars survives the flood. Safe in the watertight cocoon, it grazes below the surface. to the seaward edge of the mangrove to complete a remarkable process. From her massive egg cluster, she releases up to 10,000 tiny crabs. Her reproductive cycle is linked to the lunar rhythms and high tides so that the larvae can be carried seaward their only chance for survival. Like gleaming stars cast into a liquid sky, the young begin to feed immediately on microorganisms. Of the millions of tiny crabs released with this tide, few will survive to maturity. Those that escape the fish of the mangrove may be devoured by offshore predators. Eventually, the survivors will return as adults and repeat the cycle. With a final effort, she releases the last of her young. These young prawns will live in the mangrove until they migrate offshore to breed. Like other marine life, they are entirely dependent on the mangrove's rich source of nutrients. of a food chain that extends beyond these shores into the open sea. Moonlight reveals strange mounds of earth that are home to one of the most elusive mangrove creatures. mud lobster bulldozes mud from the depths of its burrow where it spends most of its life feeding on nutrients in the mud. Tunnels up to nine feet deep extend to the water table below. Their excavations have significant effect on the surrounding landscape. Mounds may be six feet high and 30 feet wide. With the first trace of dawn, the flying foxes noisily announce their return from a night of eating fruit in the rainforest. Their droppings will help to enrich the mangrove's vegetation.
productive dredging by the mud lobster creates islands that thrust above even the high water. Born on the wind, spores of ferns alight on the mounds and germinate quickly in the fertile mud. Soon the knolls are crowned with fresh greenery and the fringes of the mangrove are carpeted in a luxuriant growth of ferns. On this newly claimed territory, seedlings of other plants take hold and flourish. Siaru's forest rapidly expands. As the mangrove develops, plants like this epiphyte move in from the rainforest, and with them, animals. The tiny mouse deer, barely 12 inches high, now forages on dry, consolidated land. foliage provides protection against the seasonal storms along the coast. brings the only fresh water to the mangrove and the monkeys are quick to take advantage of it. This strange world has long been a shelter for multitudes of plants and animals. For thousands of years, storms have swept this coast, but it is not the immediate effects of such storms that threaten the mangrove. 
In many parts of the tropics, forests lie devastated. Throughout Borneo, large areas of rainforest are being destroyed. If they disappear, the mangrove will suffocate in the torrent of mud released from unprotected hills. Life in the mangrove will also vanish. In the mountains above Siaru, the rainforest still stands giant patriarch of the mangrove below. At its feet, in the tidal forest, the innocent perform their daily drama. A microcosm for mankind, this world awaits its fate. Tonight at 10, Profiles of Nature explores the life and spectacular works of nature cinematographer Robert Hermes. Right now, Smithsonian World displays the achievements of Islam from architecture to philosophy. Be sure to stay tuned.